To signal Nigeria's commitment to technological advancement, Nigeria's Minister of Communications, Innovation and Digital Economy, Boswan Tijani, has announced the launch of Nigeria AI Collective at the ongoing Moonshot Conference in Lagos. Organized by Tech Cabal, a leading African tech media platform in partnership with Sabi, Africa's foremost provider of infrastructure powering the distribution of goods and services, the tech conference brings together Africa's brightest minds in technology to collaborate, network and celebrate innovations shaping the continent's future. Our correspondent Sami Lori Akinkulie will attend at the conference as more details in the next report. The Moonshot Conference kicked off on Wednesday, bringing together an exciting array of tech founders, business leaders, startups and enterprise companies to showcase their groundbreaking solutions to the continent's challenges. A major highlight of the event was the announcement by Boson Tijani, Nigeria's Minister of Communications, Innovation and Digital Economy, where he highlighted AI's potential to significantly improve Nigeria's productivity and called on the tech ecosystem uh, to fully like embrace this transformative uh, technology. So when we talk about AI, you need to understand the entire ecosystem of artificial intelligence to truly say whether Nigeria should participate or not. Because when people talk about electricity, you're only thinking of the infrastructure element of it, where you're thinking of the data center, the GPUs, how do we power it? But the reality is that there's no artificial intelligence without digitizing our data. And some people need to actually do the work of digitizing data sets for continents like Africa, where we have a lot of dark data. And we can hone a part of the AI ecosystem so all these young people that we're talking about in Nigeria, 70% of our people are under the age of 30. The average age in Nigeria is 17.5. The jobs they need will not be the jobs that we have today. The minister also stressed the need for Nigeria to embrace technology to boost trade, lamenting that the country is one of the least globally in terms of tech-driven trade. He expressed concerns that many startup funders are establishing their companies outside of Nigeria, which has affected the country's tech presence in global markets. Because Nigeria, for some funny reasons, is rated as one of the lowest countries when it comes to the ECI trade index for technology, which means we're not exporting technology. And that's a fat lie, as we all know. Uh, because we know that Nigeria has a significant number of technology companies operating in multiple countries. But of course, the reason why it's not being recognized is that most of you have registered these businesses in Delaware. Beyond AI, the Moonshot Conference also served as a platform for thought leaders to discuss the essential tools and technologies that business owners and startups must leverage to scale their operations. So you have to make sure that you have the right messaging. Uh, and that's what you, what you say, being able to say accur accurately what you do, some of the data points that you might use in order to, um, in order to um, indicate what, um, your successes as well. Um, but make sure that you have, a, I guess, a messaging house. And once you have that, then I guess it has to be consistent across social. And it can be inconsistent about people who go to events. Uh, events are really another way of kind of increasing your brand. Speakers at the event highlighted the importance of embracing AI, even though Nigeria may be relatively late into entering the space. They underscored the potential of AI to solve complex societal challenges while advocating for its responsible use. As a nation, we are coming late to the party. We have nothing to lose by exploring AI. More so, there are no other alternatives. This is the only part we have, and so we should give all our best to it and see how AI can help improve productivity and ultimately improve the qualities of life of our people. We've got Chats GPT now. You're trying to come up with a sentence. It will help you fine-tune your, your sentence properly. So AI is just something that has come to stay. It has come to make our lives better. So it's something that we should all learn about and find ways to um, incorporate it into our, our daily life so that something that used to be very, very manual before becomes automated, becomes seamless, because it becomes very easy to use. The conference doubled as a vibrant exhibition space where startups across Africa had the opportunity to present their innovations. Many startup funders expressed gratitude for the platform, noting that it provided a critical opportunity to gain visibility, network with investors, and test the visibility of their solutions. And uh, one thing I would say is that Moonshot has helped 
our brand, particularly Cardify Africa, grow tremendously in terms of uh, meeting um, quality users, um, quality leads, um, amazing partners. Uh, I mean, the list is endless. Moonshot has been really integral to our growth from growing from Ibado to the world. We are at um, Moonshot because um, we're trying to break into the tech space. There's a lot of people who are looking to learn. Um, especially, you know, developers, the, 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 the whole ecosystem of um, tech, technology, basically. So Moonshot has helped us, you know, increase that reach to the tech industry and tech, tech ecosystem. As the event continues, the Moonshot conference promises to drive more conversation on how Africa's tech sector can scale globally with AI and digital tools playing a crucial role in transforming the continent's future. Tamilore Akinkwoliye, TV360, Lagos.